And uh, also, if you're traveling in Johannesburg, William Nickel at Dover in Bryanston, the traffic lights are down, and uh, that's going to cause a problem heading up to towards four-way side. Expect delays. Malabongo already on a slow go, about a 15-minute delay eastbound, heading down towards the highway, as well as Bones now they're looking really busy and uh, heading down towards the uh, N1. You're welcome to Sunrise Traffic. We're really celebrating South African heroes and youngsters making a difference in our communities, sometimes unsung or a, a, a thankless job for that matter. But uh, one of our ambassadors has made it in the Forbes 2013 list. And no prizes for guessing who that is. But let's quickly take a caller. Tembi, thanks for holding. And what's your question? Hello, Tembi. Hello, Tukunjani. Mm. Me, I'm going to hear this line go SAPC in the morning, man. Isn't it? Then I was interested in my father, I just go, I'm from Utrecht, in Pumalanga. Even now, I'm in Pretoria looking at school. I don't have a man with you to make phone there. Even now, I'm suffering with a place to stay. I sleep over in the woman's case in Kodinda Yoglala. I'm been applying the TEC and the calls waiting to apply the back to food. I was one person of food with my mom. I'm a first born a kaya in a transition. And my son was a cadet in the one. I'm a ruling with my son. I'm a ruling with my son. I'm a ruling with my son. I'm a ruling with I want to know what Although Mizelana and Anaman, then the Wutia, it is 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 Sorry. Yeah, Tembi. Sorry, Tembi. Yeah, man. Yes, yeah, so go for my number. Then it's a little bit later on. Yeah. We're not buying a bank. We're not buying a bank. We're not buying a bank. We're But please stay listening. I'm sure we'll get an answer for you uh, a little bit later on. Mike, for us. thanks for your patience. Kunjani? Hi, Mike. Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, What's your question or the comment? The incredible things are not for it to We've got a million other people who need help like you, Marbona. Seba apply, they've taken it a step further. Seba admit it, the buyers by Ufunuk Fundan. And and in the bashot language, Iman. So you must make it a stand so that you are humble, you apply, please admit it, because you make it easier for you to get help. Kuban zimuguti, sikban benge sanga, so kufoni sa yonu university, you can't help umuntung as naiti, and I wonder when I'm done, done, sekai. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, Neskati is, is really against us. Some of the fellow Tulu, maybe you can give us your story, how you got to benefit from this uh, bursary scheme, and then we'll take other callers as well. Okay. Um, I matriculated in 2009. Mm -hmm. So uh, my father works at IFA. Uh, it's Independent Field Advertiser, a division of Clients and Life. So I was urged like, like to apply, apply for a bursary. Okay. So I received a bursary 
from the IFA. Yeah. Uh, it covers 50,000 rand per year for four years. And for you to get, for you to qualify for an IFA bursary, um, either your, one of your parents or your guardian, they need to work the IFA business. Okay. And of course, you as a student need to work very hard. Your results need to show that yeah. you know you are qualifying for and there is that obligation and responsibility on your part to to, to, to perform well yes yeah. you need yeah, to we just quickly have uh, facebook messages and yeah. questions with ayanda in our reception area over to you ayanda Having a look at our Facebook page, Cindy, we asked the viewers at home what questions or comments they had for our guests in studio. And here we have uh, San Faj Dube. He says, I think it's a good idea to help those that are in need. Tepo Sila Lady uh, has a question here and asks what the requirements are for those uh, that need uh, the funding. What standards should they meet? Uh, moving further, Togozani Dube says, Smu is an action man. May the Lord continue to bless him. If only we all as a people could talk less and do more, society would be a better place. And lastly, a question here from Valentine Marozza. He says, uh, what obligations do they have after they complete their studies? Are they linked to a company of some sort? And is the funding just for study at a um, further education and training facility or university? Or do the costs also cover additionals such as transport, rent, food, and books? So those are some of our questions and comments coming through. It's back to you in the studio. All right. I, w I want to get into the nitty-gritties. One, the responsibility of uh, a lot of people who are facing adversities poverty, she's helping her mother. These are stories that resonate with a lot of previously disadvantaged people, primarily black. So how do we break that yoke and, and get out of the situation? Well, I think what's very important is that we need to urge people to plan early and speak to their parents early. If, if you could speak to your, your parent in primary school and ask, do you have a trust? Do you, have you started saving for my school? Because the responsibility lays with the parent. But then if you are in matric currently and it's January now, you need to study hard, but you also need to start applying now because bursaries are not, for, for 20 are now going to close up in, 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 in April. So it's all about planning. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and so in the absence, and I know maybe this is an unfair question to you, but we see a lot of youngsters as well that will say they didn't have the support structure, may even look at you as being privileged. She's <laughs> or she's lucky, blessed, more blessed than what I am. What advice would you give to them? Well, like he said, proper planning. You know, um, if you were matriculated last year, you should have applied last year already, you know, for university and bursaries at hand. So for me, I wouldn't say it was like per se. Working hard throughout high school, not only once once you get to matric. So yeah. working hard and yeah, p proper planning, yeah. proper planning basically. So so so, so your your foundation, if I'm understanding you, in collaboration, of course, with SA Reading Foundation uh, at SLEF. Yeah, I'm, I'm a founder, founding member with, with Deboche and our other partners yeah. on Read a Book SA. Yeah. And I'm also a founder of my foundation, as I've been doing work for over the years. So we've just formalized okay. as a proper structure. I've got a CEO of, of the foundation. Okay, so uh, in extending the help, and yeah. I understand that, of course, the youngsters, it's important. These are the, the uh, torchbearers or, you know, that are going to continue uh, after this generation. So how do you assist the, the, those crying helps like you, you've heard yeah. Uh, yeah. From, uh, from our colleagues? I think, you know, I try and encourage other people that are in our position. Abbas you don't have to be rich to try and lend a helping hand. Yeah. You know, if it can be positive messages that you send out to kids that you know in your street or, or, or your niece or your nephew or, you know what I mean, just try and help just to inculcate, to make it cool to do good, to help other people. I mean, with the reader, uh, reader book essay, we coined the term intellectual swag. Because you make it cool to read, you know, it's swag to read. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, if I, if I can hold my own in a conversation, that's swag delicious. You know Absolutely. I mean? So that's cooler than any other thing. You, you, can't, you can't tell me swag is, is popping bottles and champagne. That's like old school. Yeah. Right now, we, we're rolling intellectual, intellectual swag. And we make it cool to give because of the lot of work. You look at our Facebook page, you look at our Twitter pages, you look at the lives that we live because, you know, we walk the talk, <laughs> you know. Yeah. And, and let's, let's quickly take callers, Sabonga and Soweto and Tabo. We'll come to you in Edenvale, or uh, in Edendale, rather. Um, Sabonga, hello to you. Hello, Cindy. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Cindy, I just want to give a shout out to the two gentlemen sitting there. I think uh, the work that they're doing is absolutely mm -hmm. fantastic. Um, you know, really inspiring the, the youth to kind of, you know, pick up the books, you know, and read and educate themselves. And I just want to give a special shout out to Devo Khoditeho. I work with the brother at the bank, so I know him very well. He's very inspirational. We had uh, these talks, you know, when he started his uh, read a book, uh, uh, read a book essay. Uh, there's one thing that he used to say, always used to say, you know what? 
this is going to be the biggest reading and if it's an essay, trust wow. me, we're going to do this. And you Thank know, when you so we much, did it, Thank yeah, you so much for that. Fantastic. I'm us from the control room. We're out of time. But Tabo, <laughs> just quickly, your word, uh, you're calling us from Edendale. Hi, Tabo. Hi, Cindy. Hi, How are you? Good, thanks. Good, good. Um, I'd just like to uh, pick up the uh, smooth. Uh, Mr. Dikrejo, I think uh, I've followed school for me the whole days, used to pray in the morning and I still call in and whatnot. And the one thing that I just like to uh, dig up them for is their mentorship as well. I think, uh, as, as, especially as black uh, young women, we find it hard with mentorship, but with the likes of you and the work of them, they always give us a good push to go further. So yeah. I just like to say big up to them and Thanks all so the best for the year. Thank you so much, Tabo. But we're th in 30 yeah. seconds, just your mantra and inspiring people on this hope day uh, to achieve their, their, their biggest uh, destination. I think my message is I once failed my trick. You know, I was embarrassed. I was disappointed. My parents, it was difficult to go back to school. But I made that crucial decision to go back and finish my matric. And when I passed my matric the following year, I, I didn't do that well to get a... a, 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 a but yeah. I still made it to a Technicon, which I finished and uh, you know, I dropped out, went to get money, I came back and I eventually graduated. And, and you know, uh, today I'm on Forbes, <laughs> you know. Yeah. But what I'm saying is to, to make that crucial decision to go back to school is always the best decision. Even though we are Sabanza, you want to go back to school, it's always the best decision you can ever make. Um, wh wh whether you're not sure, you just failed my trick, it's always the best decision to go back to school. Yeah. That's Fundeni, you know, Skelezen. Yeah. yeah, I wish I could, I could speak to you guys a little bit longer, but hopefully yeah. we'll have another opportunity. Okay. And thanks indeed Thank you. Uh, for, for your time. We're speaking to Tebo Khoditsaiho, CEO of Ditsaiho Media and chairman of the South African Reading Foundation, Spusiso Liepe, and radio and TV personality, as well as Tulu Fitz or Masote, a bursary beneficiary. And for more information, you can go follow them on Twitter. It's at Read a Book SA, Read a Book SA, with the hashtag uh, Bursary Drive. Bursary Drive will give you more contact details on our Facebook page as well. We'll take a quick ad break. We'll see you shortly. The future can be unpredictable, but with Intech as your partner in education, the journey can be very rewarding. Intech, the leader in distance learning further education and training, offers a variety of courses, from business to creative studies. We have a legacy of 106 years in quality education. With Intech, we can help you achieve your dreams. Enroll with us before the 31st of January 2013 and receive a free tablet with data. Terms and conditions apply. This is Life Made Simple, brought to you by Frank. Let's talk about Frank Life Cover. Meet Dave. Dave is 40 and works in sales. He's also married, likes to look after his health, and doesn't smoke. He's just bought a new house, which he's renovating himself. And that's costing him a lot of money. He knows his family won't be able to pay the bond if something happens.